extraordinary tiger dynasty is under threat. Machni, the great mother, has ruled this kingdom for over 10 years. Now, her daughter eyes her throne. And so do outsiders. But this prize, so difficult to steal, will prove even harder to keep. Fierce battles, dangerous liaisons, and territorial wars lie ahead. Who will be the next ruler of Rantambor? Early morning in Rantambore National Park, northern India, and a young Bengal tigress is on the prowl. Satra, aged almost two and a half, has begun to hone her killer instincts. Six months ago, she started hunting on her own. The crucial first step to self-sufficiency. Satra spots a potential victim. But success depends on timing. She lacks experience. It will come. Until then, the deer gets to live another day. But it's not just dinner Sartre's after. She hungers to control a whole kingdom. She already stands out from her two sisters. More detached, more independent more dangerous. Second sister Atara has a cat's curiosity, but not its courage. And Unis, their mother's favorite, is the most timid of all. Adult tigers are solitary creatures. At just over two years old, they'll soon need to strike out and find territories of their own. Or they can fight for the right to stay here, but that won't be easy. A formidable opponent stands in their way. Their mother, Machli, Queen of Rantambore. Her remarkable ten-year rule has won her fame throughout India. Aged three, she claimed the throne in daring but classic style. By deposing and banishing her own mother, And she's fought ever since, defending the Rantambore Fort territory with all her might, laying her life on the line. <laughs> Tigers usually can defend their throne for only seven to eight years. Matchley's extraordinary ten-year reign attests to her courage and tenacity. And the battle's worth fighting, because the stakes here are so high. Rantambore is one of the best tiger territories in India. Centred round the 1,000-year-old fort, the landscape provides ample food and water almost all year round. The Rajbagh lake below attracts the prey the big cats need. Sambar, spotted deer and wild boar. The National Park, over 400 square kilometers of wilderness, is one of the last great tiger sanctuaries of northern India. It's a haven for other wildlife too.
Within this paradise, Matchley's produced five litters and raised nine cubs to adulthood. But none of them dared stay. Until now. With these new cubs, a new regime. At 13, the great queen has reached her twilight years. Five years past her prime, she can't muster the strength she once had. And Sartre knows it. For now, Matchley basks in her fading glory. Maybe she senses the end is near. Young Sartre, the dominant daughter, already samples the perks of this tiger paradise. And she's sharpening her skills all the time. Matchley has taught her the hunting fundamentals. The rest is up to Sartre. patience, but eventually she catches a form. Each success increases her independence and feeds her ambition. Of the three sisters, she'll be the first one ready to establish her own territory. And Sartre plans to stay right here, in the only home she's ever known, even if it means war. As the months pass, Sartre grows confident enough to make the first move in her bid for power. But not against her mother. Not yet. She will have to deal with her family one by one. Starting with the weakest. Unis, the most timid, is relaxing in the heat of the day. Sartre has her in her sights. She's an easy target. As cubs, the sisters probably stalked each other in play fights, so Unis has no sense of danger. Lulled into a false sense of security, Unis plays along. Sartre's made her intentions very clear, and she stalks away. The days of innocent sibling rivalry are over. Sartre will continue to bully her like this. Unis 
is now at the mercy of her determined sister. The balance of power within the family has started to shift. With her first victory, Satra's one step closer to claiming the crown. Unis, defeated and disheartened, slinks off to find the rest of her family. She seeks comfort from her other sister, Atara. Sartre's violent swipe was no empty threat. Unis knows if she stays here, she risks further attacks. Unis has no choice. She'll need to find a new territory. This may be the last time these two sisters are together. Queen Matchley relaxes, unconcerned or unaware of Sartre's plot against her. She's no stranger to conflict and has always crushed her adversaries. She hasn't eaten for days. To find enough food, Matchley must control a territory of 10 to 40 square kilometers, and it's vital she discovers a water source. It doesn't help that she's not the only big cat here. Leopards also hunt in these hills. Both big cats depend on wild boar and sandbar. Tigers are stronger than leopards, but Matchley, old and slow, can't compete against them for food. Even worse, her wandering might lead her into the dangerous domain of a male tiger.